I want to talk about marriage. And I think so many people have the wrong image of marriage. Some people may believe that, you know, or may think in a similar way, like marriage is like uh, a fairy tale, like uh, full of love, full of happiness, full of romance, full of glee. <laughs> Not all the time, I don't think. If I am different from you and you are different from me, I believe there is going to be friction. I believe there are going to be misunderstandings, problems, or whatever else. If you marry someone from a different culture or was raised differently from you, I believe that is going to bring rise to more potential problems, right? If in my house, as in the house I grew up with my parents, if this was allowed and that was allowed, but in your house, this was allowed and that was allowed, I believe there is going to be misunderstandings and probably so many problems. So, I have to, in a sense, depending on what is really going on, we have to adapt. Not saying that we should adapt to wrongdoing, no. I am not saying that. But we have to adapt. And that may be one of the hardest things. So, every day may not be a happy day. Every day may not be full of glee, full of <laughs> happiness, right? So I have to understand you more and you have to understand me more as in a married couple. Does that make any sense? If you are a selfish, narcissistic person, you probably should not get married. In marriage, I believe you have to think of each other. I have to be mindful of you. You have to be mindful of me. Hmm? Everything can't go our way. For instance, God made man the head. God made man the head. I'm about to cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. God made man the head. You may believe that or not, but it is in the Bible. Just because I am the head doesn't mean that everything should go my way. I hope this makes sense. For instance, if I have an idea but my wife has a better idea. Why not go with my wife's idea? If the idea is going to be best for us, 
or better for whatever purpose it is, why not go with the other person's idea? Why not? Since I am the man, should everything go my way, even though I may have the worst idea? Now, I believe too, that the final decision making should be done by the man. I truly believe that. But it doesn't mean that the man can't go with some of the woman's ideas as well. I hope this is making sense. I believe marriage is hard, but I believe if you do it right, I believe it teaches you to become selfless, thinking more of the other person, giving up of yourself. Am I saying that right? giving up of yourself for the benefit of the other person, if I am saying that correctly. I hope this is making sense here. I believe one of the reasons why some people divorced and probably one of the top reasons, probably the two don't really research each other much. As in, like, let me talk to you before we get married. Let me find out what your beliefs are. Let me find out what your likes and dislikes are. Let me see if you really want to serve God. Let me see if we are really compatible. I think some people get into a relationship you look pretty, you look handsome, so let's date. No. If you are thinking about marriage, I believe you should be patient. You should really do your research and don't be desperate. Don't be like, well, I want to be married and I see a man, I see a woman, and yeah, I can see all of these bad things, but since I am so impatient, let me marry anyway, let me marry anyway, and see what happens. I believe that is a very, very bad idea. What you should do, which I did, Pray for a spouse or pray to see if the person you are speaking to is good for you to marry. Why not go to God with it? I know I don't know everything. I know that I can make wrong choices. So let me go to God with something that I am very unsure about. What's the point in getting married, then get divorced, then get married again, then get divorced, then get married again? Go to God first, right? If you know you keep choosing wrong, why not go to God first so that you can, so results will be better? Maybe you should not get married now. Maybe God need to work on you more to purge whatever is bad in you, perhaps. But I believe marriage is not how it is shown on TV. I believe TV and whatever else misrepresent what marriage is really about. It is, I believe, it is more difficult than what you may believe. So marriage should go past 
Let me say it like this. I believe you should really be more concerned about the personality than the outward looks. Yes, there is nothing wrong with, I guess, with wanting a pretty woman or a handsome man. But look at the personality first. Does this person want to serve God? Is this person going to treat you right? Look at stuff that is important other than silly stuff. This person is rich. This woman has large breasts and butt and silly stuff. I believe if you marry based upon silly stuff, your marriage is going to be silly and probably will end. Let me stop here. God bless you.